Hey guys. So thanks for being here. And I also have to say thank you for everybody for all your love and support. I know I've been kind of inconsistent lately. I've had a lot of stuff going on in my life and I really appreciate all y'all continuing to um, watch my videos and put out the likes and the comments and just for your support in general. Y'all you know, have all been a blessing to me and um, I really appreciate every single one of you. So um, that being said, thanks for being here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look and see who is coming towards you. Y'all know this is one of my most favorite readings, <laughs> but I have to say before we get started in the pick a pile, um, this could be this person coming towards you. Some of you, they may have already came towards you and you're just needing more insight about that, or this can be somebody that is coming towards you. Some of you sooner rather, rather than later. Um, so the timeline could be a little bit different for some of you. Now this, is brand new oracles and it's called the ancient stone oracles so we're going to use them to pick a pile we're going to do four piles today okay so pile one pile two i will turn these over in just one second pile three These do still skip together. <laughs> and pile four. I'll take that one. Okay, so let's see what we have here, guys. Pile one, you have see the beauty, gratitude, the sacred is everywhere. Okay, so that's pile one. Pile two, the volcano. That's cool. Relationships, express, don't stagnate. Okay. Pile three. Good luck. All suspicious wishes granted and blessings. Okay. And pile four. The guardian stone. Awakening, progress, and intuition. All right, guys. Hey, Paul one. So if you chose see the beauty, gratitude, the sacred is everywhere. So this is giving off a lot of um, ancestral vibes, which makes me wonder if this is something to do with a family member or someone you have family with. Family may be, you know, an origin between the two of you in some way. Also, do feel like, like the center of this reminds me of the um, woman's reproductive system. <laughs> um, so with that being in consideration, I would say this could be more of a feminine energy that's coming towards you. Um, especially someone that you may be needing to have grace for or see the beauty in or a situation that you're needing to see the beauty in having more of that feminine energy like nurturing someone or something um, that's coming towards you uh, Gemini here giving off these these people up here um, these twin this twin energy is that Gemini energy so something could happen around May or June but it's also like this feeling of Perhaps there's two sides to someone. Um, you're getting some kind of knowledge here. And there's something to do with the pattern. Something that's a pattern that's been consecutive, like a consecutive pattern here. This is a situation that you're going to need to have grace with. And being thankful for something is here as well. So let's see if we can figure out what this is about. So we're going to use my, some of my favorites. <laughs> this is the, um, I'm excited to use these, it's been a while. This is the Visions of Life Tarot, but I use them as oracle cards. Um, they have little funny pictures on them, and um, I think they're fun to use as oracles. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to use these to get an overall look. I also have some Places cards to see where about this is going to take place. 
and um, then we'll get the tarot, okay? So, let's get into this. What can you tell us about the person that's coming towards Paul 1? What person is coming towards Paul 1? Healing. <laughs> There's definitely someone that's coming towards you wanting to heal the situation. And I think that they're like, they're coming towards you in a way like they're trying everything that they have to make something better or to heal a situation here. But it's almost like you're not amused by this person. This is something that you've heard a lot of or you're used to or you're just... Like, they don't affect you in the same kind of way that they once did. You have reflection here. This is uh, Pisces energy, the hot priestess. So this is someone that could reach out to you um, through the internet in some way, shape, or form. This is someone that could be thinking a lot about you. This is someone that you could be in silence with. Okay, estrangements here. So this could be someone that you are no longer, you're no longer speaking to. This is someone that could be spying on you or, or reminiscing here as well. But I feel like they don't know what to say. <clears throat> Sensual sensuality is at the bottom. So this could be somebody that was kind of like that person where this is the other side, you know, that you know is there, like the devil here is on their shoulder. Um, this is someone that could be tempting, like the situation could be tempting. Um, this person may pull out another side to you. This is like feeling like you when you still have a, a flirtatious energy with someone or love for someone or but you see them for who they are like you see the devil in them and you just kind of have to laugh that off because they just are who they are but you also know that it's not something that's good for you either you know this this is the energy this person may be bringing you as well is that they're bringing you a feeling of hoping that you will just kind of see it as that. Oh, that's really there. This may be a pattern. This may be something that you've done in the past. You've just kind of seen this person as that is just who they are, you know, and they're trying the same kind of thing on you, and I don't think it's going to work this go around. Um... Let's see how you are going to be feeling about this person when they come around. How are you going to feel about this person when they come around? Oh, one. Look. Huh. Clean up crew. Cleaning up your life. Getting rid of distractions and making healthy choices. And karmic ties. Wow. That's awesome. The, there is no bottom of the deck. So you don't feel a whole lot. Like I feel like... Obviously, with cleanup, cleanup crew here, with this is karmic ties. This is a karmic relationship, karmic situation, debt, not for you. That's what I was saying. You feel like that this, you're trying to make a healthy choice. I think you're trying to stay away from whoever this is. I think you're trying to make a healthy choice here around this person. Because I think you feel like if you had a new beginning with this person or you were, if you moved towards this person in some kind of way, it may be... It, it's just going to end in, I heard disaster in my head. But you see how he has the, like the plague mask? So it's like, I think you just feel like that th this is over or that it's just going to end in disaster. Or this person would be the death of you, you know what I mean? <laughs> that kind of energy. It's like you realize that this person is not for you, not the not a healthy choice. And I think that you're trying to I think you're trying to stay away from it because of that. So let's um interesting. Okay? 
For some of you, this could be someone small, like that wasn't in your life for a long time. For others of you, this could be somebody that was in your life for a very long time, okay? Um, it's weird, but I feel like it's either one or the other. Okay. I feel this deck. This is what we're going to use. This is the Alice in Wonderland deck. Oh, I forgot to get the places. We'll do that after we do this. I'm actually going to go ahead and move that in front of me just, just so I don't forget. Because <laughs> I tend to do that from time to time. Okay. Who is this person that's coming towards pile one? Who is this person that's coming towards my pile ones? So we do have Pisces energy out here. Look at that. The hanged man. That's Pisces energy. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> okay, somebody wanting to give you a different perspective or wanting to gain a different perspective. We have justice. This is somebody that feels like that they, they either want to give justice, try to heal something here, um, or but I feel like they feel almost like they deserve it. See how on both these cards, you have this masculine energy here that's just kind of sitting here reading what was wrote, but this queen here is like in an uproar, and here you have kind of a similar situation going on. This person may be wanting to try to heal where maybe they feel like they acted impulsively. Uh, Libra energies here. Two of Cups. This person wants has been reflecting on the relationship here. They want a relationship here with you. The four of wands. This is someone that wants to come together, wants to reunite here with you. Why is the hanged man here? The eight of wands in reverse. They're going to say that they see some communication differently. Like, okay, they want to... They're frustrated with maybe the hold, the hold up, or, or the silence, or something like that, and they may have, they see that they may have communicated things the wrong way, or spoke out of frustration, you know, there's a lot of, maybe there's a pause between the two of you after a period of communication back and forth, um, tell me about justice, ten of wands, so this person feels like they want to, it's like, hey, I want to get this off my back, you know, um, that's just because I would feel better if I did. I would feel like I want to just release the, this burden here, right? Make things right. Apologize. You know, that kind of energy. Why is the Two of Cups here? They're going to say they're seeing, like, your part or your side or communication in a different way than what they did before. You have the star here in reverse. They feel like this is a hopeless connection or relationship or this can also be like, I want to be able to trust or the star in reverse is like saying that this was a relationship that they desired at some point in it. It was based off of like a no trust or a lack of trust or something that never could get off the ground. It's like making a wish you know it's just never, there's just no way it's going to ever come true. Like a lack of hope or faith in the relationship. They're trying to renew some hopelessness that's here within this relationship. Why is the four of wands here? The moon. They're going to say they want to make peace with whatever's transpired. They want to make peace with whatever's happened. It's almost like saying that they know there's no future here, but they just want to make peace. But I feel like some of that is a lie. They do. They still want a relationship here with you. Why is the Eight of Wands here? 
What's the Eight of Wands in reverse? The Hermit in reverse. That's Virgo energy. This is coming out of um, introspection or needing... Like, this is someone that's saying, I went within and I've come to realize that there were some things I shouldn't have said. There were some ways that I acted I, I wish I would have, wouldn't have. Um, they're trying to give you a different perspective of the way you should, you're seeing them now versus the way they want you to see them. Why is the Ten of Wands here with Justice? The High Priestess is here again. More Pisces energy. This is like someone saying, I've reflected on things and I need to release this burden of taking responsibility for the lack of fairness that I've brought to the table here, you know, in this relationship. Why is the star in reverse with the Two of Cups? The Magician. It's like saying, I could have, what I wanted was just not going to come together or wasn't, wasn't coming together. Um... Or it was, it's like, a, like, that song keeps playing in my head and I'm trying to talk past it, but it's, we fell in love in a hopeless place. It just keeps playing in my head. And that's what this is saying here is, be careful of this though. There's, there's some kind of, there's some manipulation going on here as well. I don't know if your person's aware that that's what, what they're doing when they're coming towards you right here. Um, what do I mean by that? D Gemini, Virgo energy, and Aquarius. Yeah, the Nine of Swords in reverse. You know when someone says that something like, well, It would have never worked out. It was it was my fault. Um, it just wasn't meant to be. You know, stuff like that. Almost hoping that the other person validates them with saying the opposite so they feel safer in that moment in the relationship. Like the other person, they, they come to realize that the other person does see them the way that they see them or does still care about them or there's still some connection there. Um, but they don't come out and say how they feel. They say the opposite of what they think. So the other person, hoping that the other person will validate them. Um, it's a, it's a manipulative energy. It's kind of hard to read. And this person could say, you know, there was... I was too overwhelmed with my fears or my anxieties and I messed up um, a good thing, something like that. Hoping that the other person is like, it wasn't all you, it was me too, you know. Um, they're not, it's not coming from an honest place, that's what I'm afraid of, because the moon is right there. What's the moon? The four pinnacles. This person wants to release themselves of the illusions that they're telling themselves about this situation. This is like going through um, scenarios in your head about, you know, what, reuniting with someone or a foundation that here or, or finding peace with the situation. And you can't, you like, you keep reminiscing about things and you just keep getting, you, maybe you feel like you're in the dark still about some things. Um, and you feel like if you had those missing pieces that you could make it all make sense and then you could break yourself free of this. Um, that's something that's here. It's just they're not doing it in an honest way. It's like they're not being fully vulnerable or they're hiding some insecurities Or they're wanting more than what they're expressing. They're hoping for a different outcome from what they're presenting to you. This is like someone saying, it's okay if it doesn't work out. I'm, I'm okay with it. When really they're not. They're hoping that you'll like come, come in with open arms and give them a hug and tell them that everything's okay and that you can work everything out. You know? What's the four of wands? 
death in reverse. This person's wanting to repeat another cycle with you. That's what they're hoping for. Didn't I talk about cycles here? Yes, death in reverse. This is like a honeymoon cycle. This is like when you, you fight and then you t go a while and then you come back together and it's that initial like feeling of relief that that person is not going anywhere, you know, or they're still in your life or whatever. This is hoping to repeat a cycle. And this is what, it's like this person's hoping that you haven't freed yourself from them. That they still have some sort of grasp on you. But I don't think that you, they're going to try. Look at that. Tower in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Scorpio energy with the sun in reverse. And the four of swords, ace of swords. Yeah. See that three of swords, the chariot, this person's coming towards you here, wanting to communicate because they are heartbroken still. And there's that four swords. They've been overthinking here. Be feeling like they don't have enough clarity. They can't. They can't have closure here, or they're just very disappointed or unhappy here. And they're going to try to. They want to try to put something back together. Hmm. I want to see what this person will say to you, but I also want to get. Um, Actually, let's go right into that. What would this person say to you? Actually, I'm going to get some different cards. Some of these cards are written wrong, like when they got printed, so I don't use them very much, but I'll clear it up when they come out. What would this person... Ooh, okay. What do you see in me? I'm scared of rejection. I'm the man. <laughs> so this person's wanting to, it's like trying to step in a role of taking control of their part. What else would this person say to you if they could say anything? Why is it that you love me? I can't, I can't do this right now. Some of you, I'm telling you, this person's going to talk to you in a way where they're looking for sympathy. This person's wanting your sympathy. I'm busy. Um, um, my, um, then then you'll be I'm sorry. What well, do you do with the So sorry, guys. My little one came in. This person is going to take responsibility of some things. I think that there's going to be a lot of blame that they're blaming on situations, circumstances. You're so different from everyone around me. It is all too much. Whoa. I can't handle your love. And why can't I tell you the truth? This person may have had a hard time telling you they loved you or been vulnerable here with you. It says, I don't want to be alone. That's the kicker here. Mama, did the, did the what you know of the TV? So sorry, guys. Um, God forbid that we just we don't have enough TV remotes in this house. <laughs> um, <laughs> maybe this person has a lot of people around them, but it's just not what they want or not enough. Like they need your attention in some way. You're different from everyone else. This person. They may have had a hard time being honest with you about being vulnerable, but I think the bottom line here is 
Like, this may person may have a hard time telling you they're, they're sorry about certain things. They're not someone that's quick to apologize. Um, there's a pride here with this person or with whatever's happened is hurt their pride in some way. And then you have, I don't want to be alone. And this is the underlining energy, like, you were right. This could be somebody that you, you said, you know, you don't, I know you don't want to be alone or you're different from everyone else. I know that that's why you can connect with me like you can or something like that. This person may have blew that off. Like, I don't mind being alone. It doesn't bother me, you know, that kind of thing. Or um, I like being by myself, you know, that kind of thing. And they feel like that you can see straight through that. But I feel like the underlying thing here is that this person just doesn't want to be by themselves. I don't know that it's necessarily as much about you as it is about this person, them coming towards you. I think it's more about them and them not wanting to possibly be alone or to feel alone. Where is this going to happen or take place? Where is this person going to come towards? How? We have the lighthouse. Guiding light. Symbol of hope. Watchful. Okay, wait. There's another one here. Winding path. Where is this going to take place? So there may be some kind of winding path, twisting trail, twisting route. It's almost like they're going to come to you. You may meet this person around water or in a park. You may meet up somewhere like that. You may walk with this person. Um, Some of you, this may take place more towards nighttime. They may be like, I'm right here, right around the corner, or like say that they're just close by. So they're stopping in, you know, that kind of thing is there. Um, Cause I can see this as like a porch lot, you know? Okay. The bottom says shopping mall, variety of stores, shopping center. For some of you, this could happen where like you meet up with this person. This is going to sound weird. <laughs> I'm going to say it, okay? <laughs> you meet up with this person where like there are a lot of places, a shopping center, something like that, where there's lots of stores around, but it's at night time and it's like underneath some kind of light, you know? Or you're walking in a place to where there's lights and a lot of people, if that makes sense. Okay. That being said, that kind of went in a weird direction. Um, <laughs> let's see if we can see what the future holds here for you and this person. So what does the future hold here for Paul 1 and this person that's walking towards, walking, they could be walking towards you, coming towards Paul 1. What does the future hold? It's an air sign. Could be an air sign. Um, this is also about like communication. The future holds communication or something to think about um, with Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius energies there. This could happen in Gemini season because it's so close to when I'm filming this, but, um, well, no, we're past that, huh? We are. Something could have happened, maybe, in May or June. Um, Libra, September, October. Aquarius is January, February, so those may all be relevant. Just, like, basically towards the end of the year, right? Distance is here in, in vacation. Okay. You will be traveling soon. You and your partner may be physically or emotionally distant. Oh. 
I, I think that you're going to distance yourself from this person. Yeah, I feel like you, I feel like this new understanding here with this air energy is going to help you to, you may gain a new understanding, but then I think that you're going to distance yourself here from this person. Uh, patience is here. Yes, yeah, so that's just a few more months. Good things come to those who wait. So this may be, you may have been hoping for some kind of resolution, you know, trying to manifest some sort of resolution. Um, I think that you're going to get that. Also think that this person may be moving. You may be moving. Some distance is being created here in some way. Um, I'm trying to see what time this has. I think it says 11.25. What advice do you have here for Paul 1 and this person? I already saw this once. Unicorn, number 33. Success, hope, freedom, healing, and magic are all available to you if you just believe. Okay. I'm going to get one more card before I say what I want to say. <laughs> um, two more two more cards, actually. I want to see one more thing. The air sound energy, please. Pathway again. You're going to get some kind of information about this person's path moving forward. What is distance here? Distance. Marriage. You're going to be getting some kind of information about this person's path moving forward. Or yours. It could be you too in the distance here. Um, you may be coming into union here in, in the future here with someone. I don't think it's this person. Um, all these threes, three is the number of expansion and growth. Something may be in your future here, a union may be in your future. I just feel like for a lot of you that it's not this person. Why is vacation here? You, I think you're taking a different path. Look at that, bad health. 31. <laughs> Bad health with vacation can be something that doesn't, it doesn't, um, it's something out of your control, like you can't help something. So if this person is moving away or if you're, you're realizing that you have to move away from this person, like I said before, because you know they're not a healthy choice for you, that definitely could be something that I'm seeing. Distancing yourself from this person, from this union with this person. Yeah. I just wanted to double clarify that. You do have message here, number seven, at the bottom. So I do feel like you're going to get some sort of message from this person. And it could be, you know, maybe you're somewhere where there's people around or shopping center or something when you get a message from this person as well. Okay. That being said, what was I going to grab, guys? <laughs> what was I fixing to grab? Oh, I know. Okay, so sorry, here we go. We're gonna use the affirmators to get some advice. Ultimate potential, okay. I choose to live life to my fullest potential. I trust that this will draw me towards experiences and people that support my growth and my accomplishment. Turning into this frequency, I now reach higher heights than I ever thought possible. Knowing that's an option, why would I ever be tuned into anything else? I'm looking at you, smooth jazz radio talk. So this is this is this whole lesson in this with this person you've experienced. After this experience, you've you've grown from this. You're in a different place. You realize that you're like what your full potential could be, and you don't want to go backwards here. And you feel like this person you've already kind of cleaned up from this person, or you you're wanting to make more healthier choices. And so I feel like 
this is going to take some time here, but I feel like that you, you know, will have a new understanding here of this person and the path that you're on versus what they're on. And I think you're going to distance yourself from this person in the future. Um, because I think you feel like this person, you need to move away from this person. This person may not be that great for you. And I think it has to do with you recognizing your own potential and what you have to offer. Whereas maybe this person didn't, you know, for whatever reason. Okay. Anything else? <laughs> Let's get some initials. Okay. Initials, initials, initials. Let's see. Okay, let me get a few more initials. There we go. So, oh, I just felt home. For some of you, you may meet this person at their home or your home or home is important or maybe you shared a home. You do have homes here, so maybe you have two different homes. Um, you have a, another zero. We also have some, so maybe it's been some time. Um, we have how, like it's been some time. How are you? <laughs> um, you also have an A here as well, and A T. Okay. Eight. This person may ask you to go eat. Um. We have a lot of stuff here. We have mate. This could be an elm as well. Soulmate is something I just heard was, was soul there. Um, show is here. So be careful because like I said, this person may kind of put on a show for you. Um, or show. They want you to show them something. Um, Southwest. I don't know why. Is there? <laughs> um hot is there maybe it's hot wherever you're going um what is here so what do you want comes to mind okay sat saturday may be important toe is here <laughs> this person that might be something to somebody um was what was the point? I just heard that in my head. Hat. This person may have a lot under their hat. I heard Sarah. And Sam is here. And same. You may realize this person is still the same. They haven't changed. Um, two. Maybe they feel like this person is just too much. Um, Tom. Okay, guys, so I'm going to leave this here. I'm going to let y'all take this. So it's almost like this person's trying to sew, sew over what they've done, you know, like sew up something, heal something. C is here too. Take to the C and seat. There, this person wants to set you down and talk. You also have moo here, so they could be taking you um, somewhere for steak. <laughs> Um, we have team there as well, teams. So maybe you'd be, you'll be going somewhere where there's, maybe you're watching something, some sports, or they're wanting you to be on their team. <laughs> um, you also have the music note here, so there may be something to do with music. Maybe you have a connection there. Maybe you're going to listen to music. Maybe there's a song this person sends you, or also... You know, this could be like that manipulation thing. Like, this person has a really, like, what is it? Um, they're playing their violin, their sad song, you know, of what they feel like has happened here, transpired. Pisces is really important, okay? Um, with these two fish here, and that's that conversation. Butterflies. I think that you've kind of, I think that you have grown above this. I think that you've kind of let this go. Um, yeah, I think that you've, you're different. You don't see this person in the same way. And sometimes it takes an experience for us to realize that we don't see that person in the same way. You ever, like, years later, you look back at somebody that you dated and you're like, what? 
what did I see in that person? I have no idea. <laughs> That's how I feel about my first ex-husband. <laughs> and it's something like that, because you know so different. You've seen a whole different side to that person, you know. I feel that kind of here um, for you guys. I also feel like you're moving on to, to bitter, to bitter, to bigger and better things, and that person may be somewhat bitter about that even. Um, oof. You have the siren here. Remember what I said about this person feeling like they have some kind of control or they can call you in or they can seduce you in some kind of way, okay? So here you go. So thank you so much, guys, for being here. Thanks for all your love and support. And by the way, if you don't mind, hit that like button if you enjoyed this reading. That really helps me out, and I appreciate you all very much. Thank you. Sending you some love and light, and I hope to see you soon. Hey there, Patsy. So I love y'all's card. <laughs> I find it to be so pretty. I'm going to hold it up even more so y'all can see it. Um, it says the volcano relationships express, don't stagnate. Okay. So there may be something that you need to express here. There may be something that someone's needing to express it may come out like a volcano. <laughs> okay. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw the tower. Lots of fives here. I am getting this eruption, like something exploding here, a relationship, finally expressing yourself. But this is also kind of that feeling of where you've held onto something for too long and then it kind of comes out in, you know, a disastrous way, a um, chaotic way, or a hurtful way. So be careful of that. Um, with, with don't stagnate. This could be someone coming towards you as well where they have been holding back, you know, and then they express themselves. I feel like this is you, though. And I feel like there's somebody coming towards you where you're going to kind of... You've been holding back, and now it's like you want to express yourself. But let's see, okay? Let's see. So... I'm going to start with the Visions of Life Tarot, which is a um, tarot deck that I use in those oracles. Um, kind of funny, a little different, but we're going to get started with these and how who this person is. Um, what do we can find out about this person? What are they wanting? And then um, I'm going to take a look at where this will take place, and we'll get some tarot, we'll get some message cards, we'll get some advice. One more. Just... One more quick shuffle. I don't take reversals. I should shuffle like that out of habit. <laughs> okay. What can you tell me? Who's coming towards pile two? Ooh, that came right out. We have death here with endings and wisdom. Oh, I get it. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Scorpio energy is here, which is the tower energy as well. Coming towards Paul isolation. I think this is somebody that's been sitting in isolation. They've been sitting and just ruminating, thinking. Thinking about what's changed. Thinking about maybe time that's gone by. They're trying to gain wisdom here in this isolation. But now it's like they don't know how to come out of it. They're starting to have all these feelings come up that they don't know what to do with. Reunion. This person, this may be somebody very close to you. It may be somebody that makes you look at yourself, you know. Um, maybe somebody that ju you feel judges you a lot. You may feel like this person tries to mold you or tries to get you to do things or it's almost like you may be this person's motivation and not realize it. This person may feel alone. And they've been gaining information around why things have changed. 
how they've changed. Just something to do with time being an issue here and they feel as if maybe you weren't respecting their time or you weren't working with them or making them priority in some way. This person relies on your encouragement. It's like they're saying, you're supposed to be there for me. You're supposed to be helping me. And instead, you have your foot in my back, <laughs> which must hurt because it's a high heel, you know. <laughs> um, this could be somebody that you're re reuniting with that you've just been away from, from for so, some time. Where is this going to take place? Where's swimming pool? So this swimming pool may be important here. Um, pool parties may be important here. You may come together with this person at pool party or somewhere there's water or swimming pool. Could be pool games. Pool fun is on there as well. You have rivers. So, okay. Swimming in a river, obviously. Floating waters, riverbank views. This could be at the lake, you know, um, or a river or something like that. Pool of water. It's like being in the pool is just floating, you know, with someone. Um, and these emotions kind of come out in some way. This could be just somewhere where there's a pool, perhaps, but there's just like a view. You have a... You have a view here. Um, concert is at the bottom. For some of you, there may be, this may be around music or a concert, music playing, especially if it's like a pool party thing. Okay. Let's get the tarot. Now we're going to use the um, Wandering Star. We landed on the Four of Wands with the Wheel of Fortune. That's Reunion. Um, When you come back together with this person, it's meant to happen. You're meant to come back together with this person for, for a reason. This could be like a cycle, like reuniting with this person. Um, there, there may be, when you come together with this person, has been a lot of changes or there will be some changes in the circumstances um, or in your life in general when you come together with this person. There may be been some kind of pause between the two of you that's been important where wisdom has been gained what does this person this person want with Paul to who's coming towards Paul to what is it that they want the Sun in reverse it's Leo energy four Pentacles in reverse Eight of Wands in reverse. Strength, more Leo energy. Sun, Ace of Cups. This person's really disappointed in the relationship. They're disappointed in you know what's gone on here in this relationship between the two of you. Or they don't know how you feel. You know, they're unclear about why you feel a certain way or how you feel exactly. Four of Pentacles in the reverse. There's that Wheel of Fortune. This person wants a chance to stabilize the situation here. This is somebody that feels like I heard there's, it's only a matter of time before I had to let you go. Okay. Um, this Wheel of Fortune, I, for some reason, I don't like it. I've never gotten that with this card, but for some reason, this snake that's on here is giving me a bad vibe. Can I have one more for that Wheel of Fortune, please? It's very strange. Oh, look at that. The devil. Didn't I tell you? There's a snake again. 
told you. Told you. Getting a bad vibe here, guys, from that. <laughs> um, I'm not liking this, really. This person wants to, I mean, this could be change. There's a bunch of things that are going through my head right now, so I'm trying to sort through it and find out what's the most important thing here with the devil and the will of fortune. This can be like negative karma playing itself out. Um, this could have to do with some sort of um, unhealthy attachment or pattern that someone expresses or has that maybe you're trying to break yourself free from, right? This can be somebody that's been fearing. Um, you letting them go? Or are you releasing them or detaching here? I don't like this energy, but I, I feel like I need to spend more time on it. Um, there's something I'm missing here from this. This can be like somebody that's been greedy with their time, been selfish, possessive even. Why is that um, eight of wands in the reverse? Time is something here. Yeah, queen of cups in reverse. This person, this this person's emotionally frustrated here. They really do feel like, look, she's in the blue, orange dress here and here. They really do feel like you're owed to them in some kind of way. Like you owe them something. Like you're indebted to them or something. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. Time. It's about time. The Eight of Wands, this person could be traveling towards you quickly or this is like frustrative communication with that volcano. It's like this is what comes out. The Queen of Cups in reverse, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It's Cancer in, when Cancer is the negative, or let's just say, the, the flip side to the Queen of Cups in the reverse is that she can come across as someone that may be codependent, um, insecure. It could be this person's been at, suppressing these emotions and that's why they come out in this frustrative way like they do um strength here and yeah the page of ones in reverse this person may be a strong communicator and i don't mean that in a good way okay um like they feel like that they, I mean, that maybe this person feels like they know more than you do. They feel like they see things that you don't see. This page of wands in reverse. Um, this is somebody that's limiting. It's a limiting self-belief, but it's somebody that's it's kind of set in their ways of, oh, I just, I'm going to be strong here, or the way I control the situation is holding back. Holding back communication, holding back exploring, holding back message, you know. The truth is, is I think this person wants to reunite and come towards you, but they're not in a place where they understand fully why things have changed the way they have. There's a lot of blame. This person's not, they, they don't know what boundaries are, I feel like. This person has a hard time with boundaries. And so they don't understand, I don't know if you've put boundaries up with this person and they don't understand why, um, or they're offended by that. And it could be this person may be kind of codependent here. Why is that Queen of Cups in the reverse? The King of Pentacles in the reverse. This is about feeling 
unreliable. This, they feel like that you are unreliable. And there's something to do with time here. This person is like, they, they're, they get frustrated and they've been suppressing it and then they communicate it in not the best way. How are you, let's, hold on, because I forgot to do this. Look at that. Told you, tower. <laughs> tower reverse. It's weird because with the moon and the eight of swords, king of swords in reverse. Not knowing what's going on here with you, I think, is why this person's coming towards you the most. It has nothing to do with want, wanting to really rebuild or put things back together. I think it has more to do with they just want to know what you're doing or what you're up to, what's going on with you. They get in their head a lot about it because they feel like that... This is like somebody, when they start to feel like what they've done wrong or they sit too long and think about things they've said or done that weren't good, you know, that pause that they have to take to look at themselves they don't like and it makes them want to go fix it like they want to run to you and make amends or make you like them again you know because then that that feels safe um even if they don't deserve that even if they don't understand why you put up boundaries in the first place or they don't respect that in you um even if they don't fully get it this is like somebody that would just kind of tell you what they want you what they what they think you want to hear and if you don't comply with that then they get frustrated and then they start kind of expressing going off here on you and it's coming from an insecure place you're I feel like going to stand your ground here with strength Either you're not going to communicate, you're not going to give it the, any attention. It's going to take some courage on your part. How are you feeling about this person, Paul, too? It's coming towards you. Ooh, okay. Look at that. Manifestation. Manifesting your dreams. Your power is activated. Everything is flowing easily. And... Follow the signs. Follow the signs. You're not alone. It's not an accident or a coincidence. I think that you're recognizing here, I think that you've been wanting to understand this person or understand the truth of this person. Something that you may have been wanting to be seen. Wanting to show itself. And I think you're getting that. Um, I think you're following the signs here with things. And I think that you don't feel like it's a coincidence that something keeps repeating itself. You know, you've done some studying here yourself with this person. And you may be trying to manifest the, the right outcome. What else? How are you feeling towards this person coming towards you? Secret admirer. You may feel like this person's spying on you. Like they're watching you. Trying to figure out how you feel. You see, I feel like you see straight through this person. But this person really does miss you. Um, but one of the reasons is because you gave this person something. You made this person feel a certain way. You make this person feel particular way. I want to see what that is. Actually, let me use a different deck. I want to see what that actually is. See the golden mirror? That mirror there? Self-absorbed narcissist, one-sided relationship, and love bombing. I think, honestly, guys, one of the reasons if you ended this with this person or put up some boundaries because you may feel like in this relationship it's always about them let's see what can you tell me about this with this union what does this person want with pile two okay we have the runner the palm tree and love 
it up. Runner in a codependent relationship, like I talked about. Fear of intimacy and listening to the ego. You have palm tree, stability, security. This person's looking for security here. And love, unconditional love. You may be that person in this person's life where no matter what they do, who they are, they can be their real, true, authentic self. You know them inside out. And you love them unconditionally. And it's almost like this person may feel like they can always run back to you. But you've been that one person in their life that maybe has been stable or they feel secure with. Or you've been so flexible towards their needs. I think this person's taking advantage of that, though. Let's see what the future holds. First, <laughs> let's see what this person would say to you. I do feel called to something else that I'm going to use. I feel like maybe for some of you, there's been no communication or little communication here. Maybe it's just some distance. What would this person... Right off the bat. I don't deserve you at all. What would this person say to you if they could say anything? I wanted to play the field and now look at where that got me nowhere. I don't know why I let you go. I need more time to heal and love myself. I need to own up where I fell short in this relationship. What else is this person going to say? This is so hard for me. I'm struggling. Bottom of the deck says, maybe this break is for a good reason. Maybe this time apart will help us come back together. And I'm scared, I get too nervous. That's that same energy that I see here with isolation. I think this person does want to reach out, but I think that they're not, they haven't found their strength in order to do so, but they will, because this is a reading about who's coming towards you. So this person's definitely contemplating that. Something happened here between the two of you, some kind of volcanic explosion, <laughs> um, where words were maybe said, some things were done, or whatever. This person, it's like they have some regrets here, but they don't at the same time. I think that they are kind of codependent here with you. You are that stability with this person. And you do maybe have given this person a lot of chances or um, that you just, you've known this person forever. You have unconditional love, but you've set some boundaries here. Um, I think that they also feel, you know, they know like where they've done you wrong, but admitting to that is a whole another story. That's where they struggle, being vulnerable. Um, that's why it's so hard for them to communicate, send you anything. Okay. Um, okay, now, <laughs> what does the future hold? What does the future hold for Pod 2? What does the future hold here for Pod 2 and the person coming towards them? What's the future hold? Manifest. That's the second time. So whatever it is that you're trying to manifest in this relationship, is what's going to be unfolding here in the future. So that's up to you guys. It says tell the universe exactly what you want. What could happen here? We have confession. Someone has something to tell you. That's that energy that's there. Look at that, guys. Narcissist. That's the second time we've seen that. Someone is too full of themselves. And then you have patience here. So this person requires patience maybe the next few over the next few months when this person's trying to come towards you here. Um, they have something they want to tell you or they feel like they have something they want to tell you. There's that mirror there again. It's almost, there's a part of this though where this person still kind of wants to get, give you a piece of their mind. It's like they may just want to clear the air to clear the air, but they're still... The, there's some things that they still, it's like what I said, if you still put boundaries up, this person may still be defensive. It's like they're very defensive. 
Um, let's see. I'm going to get two different types of advice cards here. What advice do you have for this person coming towards Paul 2? What advice do you have for Paul 2 about this person? I have the bonus card here, which is strength here again. You are hereby declared a strong, resilient warrior of heroic pro proportions. Enjoy your battles, whatever they are, because you're guaranteed to come through them stronger, brighter, and more compassionate. And based on what I know about mythology, probably with a great some great hair and a six pack. <laughs> so remember your internal strength. You're going to have to be strong. Stand just be strong in your boundaries here with this person, especially if you've set some boundaries here and they're coming in to test those boundaries. Just make sure that you're being strong with this person in their boundaries. Whatever it is that they feel like they need to tell you or confess. Hmm. Let me just get one card on that. Okay, well this fell in my lap. It's not supposed to be in this deck, but if you ask me, I'll say yes. Not sure what that's about. Maybe they told you no when the answer was right, yes. When you ask them something. What is confession? In the future with this person? What is that? Confession? Oh, oh, on the floor. Expectation. This person wants to just explain to you what they wanted from you that they didn't get. I mean, ugh. <laughs> I don't feel a good energy from that. It's number 28. <coughs> they, they've been waiting for you almost. It's weird. This person is full of themselves. They feel like that you're owed to them in some way. I don't know who this is to you. It could be romantic. doesn't have to be. I just feel like you know this person really well. Okay, <laughs> those flew out very quickly. I can't wait to see what they say. Proposal. So this person may be trying to propose something here to you. It's the number 27, a romantic or business opportunity is indicated. And then you have plane. This person may propose going on a journey, going on a trip together, getting away together. Maybe we should just get away together. You know, they'll fix everything. A journey is indicated either physically or metathought, met, 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 Slow down. <laughs> I'm, I'm scared to try to say this. <laughs> Metaphorically, there we go. Your life will become more full. So, for some of you, this may be with you, just you. You may find like when you are doing good in your life, this is, that's, that's what this feels like. That is what this feels like. And this is a pattern, by the way, 27, 26. You, you know there's people in our life when we start doing good, the people that should, like, be the most happiest for us aren't. There's, like, jealousy in there in some way. Um, what is that about? Oh, okay, sacrifice. <laughs> um... A difficult decision aligning your priorities and must give up something now to win in social circle. Networking, meeting new people, going out and having fun with friends. Some of you may have to like sacrifice your, your circle here. Maybe you don't get along with the same people and this person's one of them. You know, you have to make a difficult decision here to put up some boundaries around some friends so that you can meet new people or, you know, find people that you connect with more where they respect your boundaries even. You may be someone as well that's, you know, you're trying to align what your priorities are and maybe you're meeting new people and going out and this person's kind of getting jealous about that in some way. Okay. Um, I feel like just one more. And then we'll get some initials to close this out. Just one more. What a 
advice can you give me to call two about this person coming towards them? Sacred sexuality, number 44. Honor yourself and your body as a sacred vessel that it is, and refuse to give yourself away to those who do not honor and respect you. Well, that is very straightforward and clear. I'm going to leave that right there. <laughs> that is going to stay right there. Let's get some initials. That pretty much sums it up. Just because other people have certain expectations of you doesn't mean those are your expectations of yourself. And I think that that's where, that's where, you know, your morals lie. Not what everybody else wants you to do. What you feel like is important. Um, because we're all at different stages in our life, you know. We all have experienced things differently. We've healed differently. You have also um, amethyst stone could be important here. Um... June or May could be important here. Gemini energy is there again. This might be somebody very similar to you. Um, you see it there on that card as well. Really listen to your intuition about, about this. Somebody's mask being taken off and you're seeing a different part to this person or seeing them in a new light. You have the mushroom here. So this is healing for you. You know how when you're around somebody it makes you feel a certain way and then when you kind of separate yourself from that person you realize that they were making you feel insecure and really you're not, you know? You know how people can do that to us? This may be something kind of like that. And so maybe that's why you put up some boundaries. You have an L here, a J, a dun, 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 O, <laughs> a D, Jody, I heard in my head, uh, another O, a T, and an A. I also heard ta da <laughs> for some reason, so there you go. Um, Jade, also, <laughs> Lotto. Okay, so I'm going to leave y'all right here, and um, thanks guys for being here, thanks for all your love and support, I hope this helps, if you don't mind hitting that like button, I really appreciate it, it does help me out a lot, and i um, sending you all the love and light, and I hope to see you soon, bye. Okay, part three, so if you chose the good luck now, <laughs> how many of us? Would choose the one that says good luck when it's who's coming toward you, right? It says auspicious wishes granted and blessings. This right here looks just like a pineapple slice to me. <laughs> um, so, you know, that's something that's sweet. Um, I feel like there's definitely some sweet goodness here that's coming toward you. Maybe something that you've been waiting for. It's almost like you're going into a whole new world. Just started playing in my head. Um, a whole different kind of portal, you know, into, into a whole different experience. Um, you feel really good about this. Um, you feel like that this is something that you've waited for, something that you've wanted. Um, and it could be this person that's coming towards you. They may feel this way about you. Okay. So let's figure that out. We're going to use the Visions of Life Tarot to get started. These are it's a tarot deck I use as oracles. And... We're going to take a look here and see if we can figure out who this person is. Anything and all information that we can get from these about this person. Then we'll get some place oracles to see where this is going to take place perhaps. Could take place perhaps. Message cards, tarot, any and all other oracle cards that I need to get. Okay. Tell me about Pile 3 with the good luck card here. Who's coming towards Pile 3? Who's coming towards Pile 3? Y'all have a lover here. <laughs> Somebody's coming towards you here that's in love. We have, st oh, they're stressed out. Okay. Stressed lovers coming towards you. <laughs> Get ready. Um, okay, anything else? This could come across through an email or something like that first. Not for everybody, of course. 
this may be something that may kind of stress some of you out or they have been stressed out publicity somebody get caught with their pants down here <laughs> this is like when somebody wants to express themselves um, they're feeling vulnerable here but they feel like they they it's almost like they want to reprimand you in some way but them themselves are in the best position either <laughs> And I don't really know what I mean by that. Um, maybe they're asking you to defend something or how to def There's something about defense, being on the defense, defending themselves, perhaps. Yeah, it's like this person's trying to defend themselves and how they've been vulnerable here. Maybe they're stressed out. Yeah, it's like somebody saying, you know, I'm sorry, I've been stressed out, that kind of thing. With the flowers and the chocolates there, it's definitely, a, definitely an apology, right? <laughs> um, bottom of the deck, now we have indifference. Yeah, so maybe this person feels like y'all haven't agreed on the same thing or they've just not been themselves. He is at the doctor's office here. Indifference. Maybe you've been kind of on the outskirts with this person. We have searching there, which is the hermit energy. They could have been just in that pursuit of what's up from down. You know, he's got two different directions he's going in here with the question mark, um, Virgo here. See how he's kind of like he's asking for a prescription, right? <laughs> or he's trying to... make things right you may be this person's like not wanting to wind you up I don't know what I mean by that I think they may have a hard time reading you it's funny because I feel like you intimidate this person but they also intimidate you too in the same way you may surprise each other a lot with certain things, especially the things when it comes to differences, um, maybe differences in opinion. You ever get along with somebody where you, you, you get along with them a lot, but there's like major things that you don't agree on. It's strange how that works, but she's just super, super fun, awesome person, right? <laughs> um, something like that might be here. Um, Something about this person doesn't want to get you wound up. But they've been doing a lot of introspection. They don't know up from down. They still have a lot of questions. But I don't think that they're wanting to ask you. <laughs> Why are they coming towards you? I think this person's coming towards you wanting maybe peace here. You have the peace symbol in the background. Um, it's like they're wanting to express themselves. Maybe when they were in a vulnerable moment, like I said. I want to express, defend themselves when they were in a vulnerable moment. place living room <laughs> in the living room uh, maybe on the couch because you have the couch there so I do feel like this person's coming to you um, comfortable space family gathering so there may be family here this may just be your comfy space this may happen in your comfy space okay <laughs> the street is here as well um, urban landscape pedestrian traffic sidewalks and, so, and crosswalks street car maybe go from the car to the living room 
and maybe it's a conversation or something that starts in the car that brings up some introspection or some indifferences like I've been thinking about certain things or wanting to apologize or express themselves and then it leads to you know the living room it leads to like a comfortable space where the two of you communicate or talk um, this person could be driving to you the beach here is at the bottom sun and sand relaxation and leisure they could be coming towards you for leisure it's just to like they if it's their your home here with comfortable space it's like they're wanting to be comfortable or just wanting to relax. So I don't feel like this is maybe family, but I don't feel like a public, even though you have publicity here. This itself, as far as the place, it's not a public thing. It's like an intimate setting. But beach could be important here. Okay. Now let's get some tarot. So we're going to use the flow vid for Flower Vivid Tarot, Pile 3, okay Pile 3, tell me please, what can you tell me about this person that's coming towards Pile 3, what is it they want? You have a Seven of Cups in reverse. So you may have been feeling like you've had a gut feeling this person was coming towards you or that they, this person has seen, you know, they may, may be telling you, hey, I don't want anybody else or I'm not thinking about anybody else or um, I've been emotionally confused and I don't want to be anymore, you know. Um, I feel like this is something that's real, you know. It's, I'm, it's not an illusion. Um, it could be that this person maybe feels a little overwhelmed by the, their emotions because they feel like it's something that's real. Um, they could be just blocked by the fear of all the choices that will have to be made. You have a Knight of Swords here. So this is the communication or taking action. It's almost like this person's determined to get to the bottom of something or for you to understand them. Um, it's like they're having to be brave. The Knight of Cups. This person's having to be brave and communicate how they feel. You have a Queen of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, this is that intimidation that's there. I don't know if this, this person may be worried about upsetting you for some reason. Or maybe they feel like they have. They feel like maybe you've been cold with them. Or they don't want you to be. Or they just don't know how you feel exactly. The Six of Cups. This is nostalgia. This is something from the past, perhaps, that this person is, that comes up, or is needing to come up. Luck is on your side with this, by the way. Um, why is the Seven of Cups in the reverse? The Nine of Pentacles. This is someone that's overwhelmed with everything that they have or everything that they have to take care of or every of you know the value of things they're overwhelmed or this is someone that's dead set on you by the way like they're dead set on you like there's no other nobody else that's like you to this person why is the knight of swords here the world in reverse this is someone that doesn't want something to end or they don't know how to get to the next phase or chapter. They're worried about this. Um, 
This could have to do with distance here with the world being in reverse. Um, whether or not something's going to be successful, this is something they could, you know, they feel like they need to take action here. If you're single, this person doesn't want you to be, you know, they, they don't want you to have anyone else. They don't want you going toward, like, this person, oh, wow, I'm really getting into this now. This person really is, they're like wanting to hold on to you, and they don't want you with anyone else. Um, they may be wanting to make something public here as well. I feel like I'm going to the next phase of a conversation that you're having. Why is the Knight of Cups, the Eight of Cups, This is somebody that has this emotional attachment here. Um, you have the Knight of Cups here. I mean, that's somebody that's wanting to offer love. You have the lovers there. That's somebody that's wanting to... I think they're wanting to express this. This person, they don't want to abandon this. They're, they don't want you to abandon them. There may have been some disappointments here. I think they also want you to turn your back on all the other options or anything else. You see we have the six, the seven, and the eight of cups. And we just need the nine of cups, which is that wish fulfillment. Why is the Queen of Swords in the reverse? Queen of Wands. I think... I think this person feels like... I keep hearing Tim and my, Like, this person feels like you can have anybody. Like, you can cut them off at any time. Or like you deserve more, even. They definitely are, um, they definitely want you. This person, they see in a very good way. Um, six of Cups. Family could be important here. Seven of Swords in the reverse. This person wants to make new memories here with you. They want to change the way things have gone, or they want to de. What do they want to detach? What is this right here? This Eight of Cups, the Five of Pentacles in reverse. If this person has not a, a, a appreciated, acknowledged the value in you, this is something this person is now like. They're they're mind is changing up here about this if they have been indifferent about you that's this that's all changed this person they don't want to lose you here because they're there's they're emotionally attached to you and there is a fear of abandonment that's here It's laying on this person. This person's afraid to lose you. I think that's how this person knows that they love you. Why is the, um, let's go back through here. Why is, they want to do, do different. This person wants to do different. Well, hold on, now hold on. When I said that, this all came out together. Nine of Swords in reverse, the Page of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, and the Magician in reverse. This person, I don't know if you've had a past where someone kind of you took from you or manipulated you or used you for material gain or something like that. That's weird. I've never gotten that with that. Um... This is a fear that you have or something that you think about. This is being overwhelmed.
this person I feel like is overwhelmed too. There's something that's here. This person feels like they don't know if they have as well. It could be financial, have what it takes or have something. They may not have what they need. Okay, anyway, or they feel like they don't. Maybe they feel like they don't have what they need for you. Okay, anyway, let's go back to this Nine of Pentacles, Seven of Cups. King of Cups, there it is. Scorpio energy. Th this person, there's the Nine of Cups. <laughs> the, the, you're their wish fulfillment. You have everything that this person wants. Why is this um, Nine of Swords here with the world in reverse? Two of Pentacles. So, I feel like this person's juggling like ideas of how to balance the situation or balance things out or how to bring things, like what their priorities are. Especially with the world being here. You may be, there's maybe indifferences here or challenges, obstacles. The world, um, maybe they haven't closed a cycle out or they're needing to close a, a chapter out in their life in some way. Um, maybe they're trying to take a shortcut or they're delaying plans or they feel like something needs to close out before they can take action here what is that the nine of pentacles in reverse yeah it's this there's something here this person I feel like is waiting on they need they, it's, it's stability it's feeling ready hmm. maybe information or the green light page of swords they're waiting for some kind of communication clarity truth understanding of what options are here or something like that okay um I think they want to talk about this. Why, are the, why is the Five of Pentacles here in reverse? The Ten of Pentacles in reverse. This person doesn't want to miss out here. Um, they do not want to lose an opportunity. They feel like they could have everything here. They're, they're waiting for something to change. It has to do with long-term stability could be finances. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Okay. These two came out again. Page of Wands, Nine of Swords. This person may be... This is kind of a mixed energy here, but this is a good message. All right, good news, good message. But it, it brings on stress. So I'm confused about that. Why does it bring on stress? The Queen of Swords in reverse. We have two queens here. And I feel like it's the same person because this is the connecting or underlining energy. I don't know if you could be comparing it to comparing this person to, they could be comparing someone to you or something like that. Like you're very different from someone. Um, I think this person's wanting to explore what you feel, what you think, what you're thinking, you know, because they're kind of overwhelmed or in their head with what the options are. They want to know what you're thinking. Why is this... Why is the Six of Cups here with the Seven of Swords in the reverse? This person is also very concerned about you going somewhere else. It's because of how they see you. Seven of Swords in the reverse. Not a Wands. for that. 
Seven of Pentacles. This person wants to talk about what they've been investing into here. This is somebody that really wants to explore a future. They want to explore with you where you've been and where you're going in the future of things. Let's see. The full, yeah. New beginning here. Page of Pentacles in the reverse. And that Six of Pentacles. This is somebody that wants to make things fair, just, make sure things are right or settled, um, make sense, you know, before they plant the seed, take off, but they want to take the leap. They do. They're just, it's like they're waiting for the right opportunity or they could be actually waiting for a message. My queen of swords in reverse. I don't know if something's happened here with this person where maybe they feel like that you're, you could be upset about something or you're unpredictable. Maybe you, at times, you're overly emotional and this person feels as if that you get, maybe you get overwhelmed at times, or they do. That could be where an apology comes in. Can I have a card for that? Let's see. Let's see. How are you feeling about this person? Let's tap into that. How are you feeling about this person? Okay, the traveler. So this is somebody that you feel like, like maybe you travel to. Um, long distance relationship. We did talk about that. This may be a beginning of a relationship. How are you feeling about this person, Paul Three? Whoa. <laughs> you have negative emotions. That's all that. And the Empress. This is about anger, resentment, um, feeling wronged. Now, take this how it resonates, but I feel like you feel like this person feels like they've been done wrong or they have a lot of a neg negative emotions going on. That could be this here. But you see this person as nothing there's nothing to worry about highly desirable the empress is love and growth expansion she's the one that has the seeds that you plant you know um sacrifices here difficult decision aligning your priorities we talked about your priorities um must give up something to win so, I feel like there's something here that you're having to sacrifice or something here where there's some kind of difficult decision that you have to make. Like you have to make some priorities or something like that where you, you may fear rejection from this person or you just don't know exactly how they feel. But I think that you feel like this person's different from what you've experienced. And you feel very comfortable here with this person. You may have to sacrifice some stuff here as well. Maybe a rejection. In order for this person to feel secure and safe. If that makes sense, you know. Okay. I don't know if that made sense, but what would this person say? This love is crazy. What would this person say to you? I can't make you happy. 
And what is the truth? Yeah. I think that this person feels like, you know, they are strongly attached or, or can, you know, they are strongly desiring you. Um, but that, that I can't make you happy. I was talk. that's what I was talking about. This person feels like they can't, they feel like that, almost like you're owed more than what they can give you. I don't know how to explain it. It hits on their insecurities. I can't handle your love. Um, what else would this person say to Paul? Three. Why can't I tell you the truth? There's two cards there about what the truth is and why can't I tell you the truth. I wish I could understand you. Didn't I say that here? We have a hard time reading each other sometimes. What would this person say to you? <laughs> Lots of flippers. You were right. What would this person say to you? The passion I feel is overwhelming. I don't know how to handle this. I can't handle your love and I can't handle this and I'm blocked. Yeah, I, you know what I feel like with this from your reading? I feel like this is like this person saying that like there's no coming back from this experience here with you because of how overwhelming your love was for them. It's like everything that they've ever wanted. So how do you come back from that? You know, they're blocked from being able to, like that Seven of Cups, they don't even see anyone else. All they can see is you, right? They may be really hiding the like the enormous enormity. Is that how you say that? <laughs> that could be really wrong. That's embarrassing. Um, they may be hiding how they really feel. You know, um, they f I think they feel a lot more than they give out. And maybe even stressing about how to tell you something. It may have to do with finances for some of you. What is that? Let's get a Kipper card for that. What is it this person is stressing about telling? Why can't I tell you the truth? What is, what is this person stressing out about telling Paul 3? false person, number eight. There's something here this person has told you about themselves in order to make themselves look better, and it wasn't true. Um, they can't, they don't know if they can live up to that either, and they're afraid if they express this to you, this truth, that you don't need them because though they see you in such a good way, such a high way, you don't need them. You could um, cut them off and just move on. Um, and this person's afraid of losing you if this truth here comes out. What is this about, false person? What is this about with false person? The lovers, number 15. I think that this person may have been trying to impress you or something like that. It's the number 15, which is the devil, and it reminds me of like materialism. So it may be something materialistic because I did mention finances already here once with that 10 of pentacles that keeps coming up. Okay. You do have message of concern here, number 14. They've gotten, I think this person, something's happened. That might be what this is. Something's happened that kind of shed some light on some things you didn't even know weren't, weren't true with this person. Something happened. And, or it will. Some kind of message of concern. Something comes up where this person has to tell you something.
Anything else I need from that before I move on? Solar eclipse, unexpected major change. Yeah, powerful changes of the heart and cosmic intervention. Something happens here, I'm telling you, where this person, their mask comes off in front of you. The devil's domain, obsessions, addictions, poor habits, codependency. There's something here, guys. And right here, waiting, expectations, warning, longing, and waiting period. You've already known this. You've, you've known that there's something off. This person, they may have some kind of addiction or they just have a poor habit or there's some kind of obsession that they have or maybe codependency or they're relying on someone else. Something They're tied to something or chained to something. It could be, it could be anything. It could be a contract. It could be a... Um, it could be some kind of debt, you know? Maybe they're indebted here to someone or something. Okay. Somebody maybe... Something changes this person to where it has to be addressed. You also have wishes granted, which is what your good luck thing says. Wishes coming true, magical energy surround you, your thoughts are manifesting. Something's coming, yeah, deep wisdom. Something's coming out into the open here with this person that you've been trying to get to come out into the open. It's like you knew... Okay, I have to tell you this as well. Whatever it is that you thought, like you knew something was going on, that Seven of Swords there, maybe something in the past that's always kind of like you didn't feel right about, something about this person and, and an investment of some sort or some seeds of some sort that were being planted or some long-term view of something. There's something here that is going to come out into the open and this is something that whatever you think it is it's not that bad okay <laughs> I, I feel like i need to say that whatever you you're thinking it is it's not that bad but to this person it is bad because it, they feel like it discredits them in some way okay so take that how, how it resonates let's get some advice I also want to get some future energies. Let's do that first, actually. And then we'll get an um, overall card for advice, and then we'll get some initial to close out. Okay. What's the future here? What does the future hold for pile three with this person? Okay. Give it time. And they'll be back. Everything in divine timing. Let things flow. This is that waiting, right here waiting. Expect to hear from them soon. This person may tell you they need to take care of some things before they can move forward. Like they may have to take care of some things within themselves here before they can, they may ask you to wait for them, you know. It's like, give me one more. It's almost like somebody saying, I've got some things i got to heal or get better at or change or be more stable here. Some things I have to work out. I want you to wait for me, you know. I don't want you going anywhere. That kind of energy was there earlier. You have Earth Sun, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So this is definitely somebody that wants to ground something. And intimacy, sexual chemistry and reminiscing. Yeah, this person most definitely... They do want, I think this person wants to be closer to you in some way. Okay, advice, finally. <laughs> What's advice here for Paul 3? Advice, for, okay. But yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Someone is wearing a mask in this relationship and pay attention to the red flags. Know when warning signs of what an unhealthy connection looks like. There has been something here that you have recognized within this person. And you feel like, like you knew there was more to the situation or more to something. And this is what's going to come out to the open, what you're going to figure out. Because there's some kind of message of concern around this, right? And... um 
This could even be a message that you find that concerns you, that you're wanting to understand, right? Um, and I feel like the mask kind of comes off here with this person. And that red flag that you saw before, it may be something that you felt like if you waited, you could understand it. Like it wasn't something to leave the situation about. Um, give me some more advice, please. True love. Yeah. Like this, it was worth waiting. You know, it's worth waiting. Something's going to get cleared up here. It's going to change the way you see this person, though. Something's going to change. But you still, I mean, there's still love here. This romance, rom this romance <laughs> of a lifetime, true and lasting love is here for you. And then nothing's gone wrong. Trust the process. This connection is divinely timed. You may have to wait for, this person may asking you to wait for them for some kind of, in some kind of way. Because they have something here they need to clear up, and you already sense that. They definitely don't want you going anywhere. They don't want to lose you. Let go of the need to control, allow the situation to unfold naturally. It just keeps, like, this person's fixing that. Like, I feel like they have to go on a journey to get something, find themselves, maybe actually tangibly get something in order to balance things out or they need to get rid of some habits in order to balance things out. It's like they need to do something in order to feel good enough for you or, yeah, in order to ground something here with you. They're telling you to allow the situation to unfold naturally. Timing, divine timing, give it time. Okay. If this person you feel like has been deceptive here at all, pay attention to those red flags and know when, if there's been deception here, when it's nothing and when it is something, okay? Um, really tap into your intuition and your own fears. Trust the process. The connection is divinely timed. Okay, guys just sit here and go over and over and over this but let's get some advice to close actually something different for y'all don't settle for less number 10 you are a child of the divine and you deserve to have your dreams come true don't give up. Yeah. Open your heart is at the bottom, number 22. No one's perfect. Stop judging yourself and others and let love heal the situation. For some of you, this is understanding here that no one not to settle for less than you deserve. But don't give up on your dreams. Even if you if you feel like something's not possible at times and that might pull you back. Just remember not to settle for less. That's all. If you feel like you're settling for less than you deserve in a situation, go based off of that. Right? Not past experiences or, or future experiences, but just what you're experiencing in the, in the moment. If you feel like your intuition is deceiving you, you're, you're getting in your head too much, stop and just smell the roses. Stop and just realize where you are in that moment and what your experience is in that moment and not so much what your experience has been in the past because sometimes that can make our present moment be filtered through that which makes everything look different from what it maybe actually is so with this nothing has gone gone wrong just trust this process here and let things unfold like they it's just meant to trust yourself as you go but 
You're not going to take anything less than what you deserve. And if that's something that happens, you know, don't judge yourself for um, anything. Don't judge yourself for the experience that you had or what you go through. Especially if you get into this overwhelming energy. Don't judge yourself for that. You have an anxious pin here. Someone being very nervous. You have the frog, which is the full energy, Aries energy. Someone wanting to take a leap of faith. Being very nervous, wanting to take a leap of faith. And that's, that's what I saw here too as well with Don't Settle for Less. That there's someone here that feels like that you're the best that it gets, you know? You have that nine here again, which is that um, nine of pentacles, pre-empress energy, and you have that empress. Nine is a starting to wrap up things. It's time to wrap things up, right? <laughs> it's time to, to educate yourself and wrap things up here and move forward. You have a V, an L, a D, a C, an H, an M, or a W, an L, another L, three Ls. You have a Q, a B, and an S, B, S. <laughs> Um, it's a hard smile in my head. Some of you may be worrying too much. Nothing has gone wrong. Trust the process. Okay. Okay, guys. I am going to leave you here, and I'm going to hold this up so y'all can see it. So thank you so much for being here. Thanks for all your love and support and kindness, of course. Hope this helps. If you don't mind hitting that like button, I appreciate y'all very much. And I hope to see you soon. Bye. Okay, pop four. So we have the Guardian Stone, Awakening, Progress, and Intention. So the Guardian Stone, who is coming towards you? Well... I feel like that there's someone here or this is you perhaps. So take this card how it resonates. We'll know more when we get into the reading. Someone may have had um, awakening here where they want to make some progress. Maybe that or that's their intention here is they want to make progress here with you. Um, they've had some been awakened or have had some kind of fresh new energy or awareness that has kind of shook them maybe um, into wanting to protect something here with you perhaps. Okay. Um, so we're going to use the Visions of Life Tarot for you guys. And I use these as Oracle cards. And then we're going to get some more cards to get an overall perspective of what's going on. These are going to show me more of your person and the person that's coming towards you. What this person wants. Anything about this person that would be useful. How for who's coming towards them. Oops. Criticism. This maybe has someone that has criticized you for something. Overconfidence. Maybe they criticized you because of your overconfidence here. And uncertainty. This is someone that has a good opinion. <laughs> this is someone that has an opinion here. Okay. They're coming in with some criticism. I think that they may come across as overconfident and I think that you're kind of uncertain about this person whether to take their advice or whether you should protect yourself here you may feel like this person you can't quite pinpoint them exactly maybe some things that they say to you you're like are they criticizing me or are they just confident <laughs> in what they're saying um You feel like this person, ego-wise, is is easy to read. There's so much more to this person that, than meets the eye. You feel like there's deeper stuff here with this person, and you fight with that. You're like, I know this person. I want to not like this person, but I do. It's that kind of feeling. Them, on the other hand... I think they're really quick to point things out, obviously. 
um, I think they're feel they feel very confident in themselves, and I really feel like you just don't know how to take this person. <laughs> um, reunion is at the bottom of the deck, so. This is a weird feeling. <laughs> it feels like when you don't want to like somebody or you're very guarded with someone, but you do like them, and that's confusing you. Um, with reunion here, it's someone that's coming back around, okay? It could be that this person's energy just has changed. And now you're like, okay, well, who's this? <laughs> And how long are they going to stay? <laughs> you know, it's something like that. Okay, so, <laughs> what in the world? Um, also, I feel like I have a spider web on my face. So it's like you walk into this person's web, um, right into their web. <laughs> you don't want to walk right into their web, but you feel like you are. You just can't stop yourself. <laughs> something about this person is intriguing or interesting or you just want you just you just want to get to know them more or figure them out they're they may be very charismatic what is going on here um oh before we do this let's see where this is going to take place or any clues that we could get about this person be useful take place this person that coming is coming towards pile four can you give me any information about where the zoo <laughs> i mean for some of you that's that might be the case zoo attractions i don't know maybe you live in a zoo like me i've got three kids and half the time that's what it feels like um animals could be important here though a zoo wildlife con con conservation <laughs> didn't want to come out at all Anything else, place wise? Gym. Or maybe you feel like the zoo's a gym. <laughs> I mean, uh, the gym is a zoo here. Fitness training, strength and endurance, gym equipment. So, zoo reminds me of a chaotic situation, right? Or organized chaos, <laughs> something like that. Um, that could be this over confidence that's here or criticism that's here. There's something to do with a chaotic situation and maybe a gym or something routine, perhaps. I'm going to let y'all take that. I'm going to let y'all take that one park is at the bottom of the deck. It's like bringing the zoo to a place where you, it's like, it's almost like bringing a chaotic situation somewhere it doesn't belong. I don't know what I mean by that. Let's see if we can figure it out. <laughs> Bringing a chaotic situation somewhere it doesn't belong. It's almost too like trying to work, you know, something, trying to get something to work. You may work with animals for some of you. Um, not everybody's story, but. You may be on display here. So your reunion here with this person may be very, or coming together here may be very public. Like there's other lots of other people around, maybe a chaotic situation or you feel like other people are observing you, you know, like they're watching what goes on between the two of you. There's two here, two here, two here, two here. So definitely that's the two of you there. What? 
What does this person want? What's all for? Who is this? It's the Four of Cups. It's somebody that feels like maybe you're ignoring them. They're stuck on maybe something of the past. Somebody you may be bored with. Um, you have a Page of Cups here in the reverse. So there's... This may be somebody that is emotionally immature or how they act with the situation is immature. The Knot of Swords. This person wanting to take some kind of action or they're just being impulsive at how they communicate. Or they're harsh with their words. The Wheel of Fortune. Being uncertain about the future is something that's here. It's like almost too, like whatever whatever's going on here when this person comes towards you to criticize you, I feel like, about being maybe overconfident in something. <laughs> overconfident where you should be uncertain or you should be afraid or something like that. This reading's going in a weird direction. <laughs> Why? Give me one more. The Six of Wands. Yeah. This is coming out into the open, getting recognition. Why is the, the Four of Wands here? Or four, no, four of Cups, not Four of Wands. The Hanged Woman in Reverse. It's Pisces energy. The Page of Cups in the Reverse. The Knight of Pentacles in the Reverse. there's like a selfishness that's here um they're kind of immature at how they approach you like they're immature at how they approach you because they approach you with criticism this person approaches you with like criticizing you about something. They come across as arrogant. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Why is the Knight of Swords here in re or well, it's not in reverse? Yeah, the Page of Pentacles. This is the overconfidence. This person really feels like they have something to offer you here. Or... someone that's wanting to take some kind of action here like they have this drive or they're almost like I just heard I dare you to start something <laughs> I dare you to start something in my head um, is this person holding on to some kind of they f either they feel like you're going to apologize or they're holding on to something, some offer here that they feel very confident about what they have to offer or a new beginning or something actually that they have, information that they have. They feel confident they're in the right. I can tell you that. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? The moon. The moon is being afraid of things changing. Being afraid of things changing. This is like when things go hidden or unseen. This can be like somebody brushing something under the rug or just acting like something never happened. Pisces Cancer Energy. Why is this Six of Wands here? The star in reverse. You, it's like recognition that something's uncertain or not healed. Someone's not healed here. This may be somebody here you felt like you needed to protect yourself from with the Guardian Stone. Like their intentions with you may not be the best 
you're recognizing that. Why is the um, hanged woman in the reverse? Aquarius energy is down there on the end. The king of cups. Okay, so Scorpio energy here. This is someone that you have love for here. You care about this person, but you're trying to be mature about a situation and you're kind of over it. Why is the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse? Four of Wands. I did say the Four of Wands up there. This could happen around a home. Making peace here. Like this person's being kind of held back or selfish or immature about an event or a get together or a date, a time, something like that. Page of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, the Four of Swords in the reverse. They're overthinking, offering you something, an apology even. This person, I feel like, doesn't know what to do here either. They're uncertain here. They may be uncertain if you're upset with them. Why is the moon here with the Wheel of Fortune? The Nine of Swords, yeah. This is a lot of fears. This person's afraid things have changed. They're not the same. They may have wanted to reach out or, or apologize or something, but they just, instead, they just sat and overthought it. Why is the, see, I'm flipping back again. This is somebody you care about. Because you, there's still uh, some empathy that you have for this person. Why is the star here in reverse? The two of wands here in reverse. Something didn't go the way that you wanted it to, and there's recognition about that. Something not going the way that you wanted it to, the way they wanted it to. That two of wands in reverse. This person is it has an inability to step outside of their comfort zone. If you've been waiting on an apology from this person, this person has, you're going to recognize this, that this person has an inability to step outside of their comfort zone to um, discuss something with you, to try to move something forward, make progress. Interesting. You have the Two of Cups in reverse at the bottom. So there's a lack of trust in this relationship here. Whoever this is to you, you have the Empress there um, and the Nine of Wands in reverse. So this relationship has been a struggle as far as nurturing it, caring for it, seeing it as being valuable. There's some challenges here in this relationship um, because there's a lack of peace, a lack of... Um, understanding here between the two of you. You cannot see each other's point of view or perspective. Um, you know, and it could just be, I mean, I'm not to point the finger. <laughs> um, that was corny, wasn't it? But it could, it could may not just be um, you, you know, or, or them. It Maybe there's, both of you are just struggling. There's hurt there, you know, or you just can't understand each other. Sometimes that happens with people. We just have the hardest time sometimes understanding some people, even the people that are closest to us, like how someone's feeling exactly, like how to have empathy for that person because you just don't understand the choices that they've made or the things that they've said or done, you know, something that you would not, right? Um, but but forgiveness is fickle because it's like you forgive that person, but you also still have to set some boundaries or some sense of understanding at where you sit with that person. Because some people tend to brush over things. You know, that's something that's here. This may have been what you've been doing, and that's why it's become such a struggle and this relationship's become so overwhelming here. How are you feeling about this person? How poor? 
Okay, follow the signs. Signs and synchronicities, you're not alone. It's not an accident or coincidence. How are you feeling about this person, Paul for? Okay, careless, yeah. You feel like it's not a coincidence here that this person is so critic criticizes you or they they're overconfident and they feel like that you're maybe not making the best decisions or you can't figure this person out, you know? I still keep feeling this feeling like somebody that tries to stay out of something and then it's like, oh, you got me again. I'm back here, right here with you. <laughs> like you may set up some boundaries and then before you know it, your boundaries are down and you're like, how did that happen? Um, this person may have just neglected, there's been neglect here. Um, and it, you've been noticing this. This is not a coincidence that this person is or they're noticing it's not a coincidence that you've been neglecting them. <laughs> but I'm asking how you're feeling about this person. So I feel like you feel like this person's, it's not a coincidence that they've been careless here with you. Like this is a pattern, the final dance. Yeah, and you're over it. Last chance, all or nothing, not playing games. It's like you're over, you're over it. Um, can you tell us anything about this person? Characteristic wise, how this person is. Can you tell us anything about this person? How is this person feeling about you exactly? How is this person feeling about you exactly? Look at that. Devil's Domain. <laughs> Look at this. This is funny. Um, Devil's Domain, Beauty and the Beast, and then right here waiting. This person has some expectations here of you. Major differences. Feeling like your love life is cursed, desperately looking for love. This person, they may feel like that you're, I mean, you may make, make bad decisions or that you're just very different in what you do, but, or you see things very different. Can't see eye to eye, right? They're, they have expectations here, though. They feel like that you're not meeting those expectations. Um, they feel like maybe you're leaning more towards to to toxic relationships or you go after things that aren't good for you or maybe you, get, you have a codependency issue here. I mean, that's just, I don't like this. Look, look at the bottom of the deck. The jealous one. Scared of losing you, don't want to share, and protective of you that protective stone guys this is somebody this is weird but this is somebody that is i mean this is somebody that can be codependent this is like when you are afraid to lose someone no matter who that person is that you criticize this person's decisions because you want that person you want to protect that person so much so that you actually end up pushing that person away so they may have done that to you and you just kind of look finally put your final dance in there and Put down. Okay. What would this person say to Paul for if they didn't say anything? Nope. Whoop, that one fell on the floor. I need to figure myself out. This doesn't mean they'll say it out loud, by the way. <laughs> the passion is too much. So they may get, passion can be, um, that uh, devil's domain, upset, you know, this person may just get too upset with you, and they go to criticizing you, because they feel like you're making the wrong decisions, you deserve better, this is something that they may tell you even, um, especially if this person has a lot to express to you about the relationships that you're in. How could you ever forgive the mess that I've made? I wish I could be a different person. That's coming from an honest place. But I don't think that's what this person would actually say to you. Life without you is hopeless, dark, and depressing. I miss your light. Yeah, this person misses your energy. They know that they've pushed you away, you know? Okay. What now? Let's get some future energies. Where is my future? 
get your energy that here. They'll be back. Expect to hear from them soon in Water Sign. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. So, you may be dealing with the Water Sign here in date night. Get ready to be wined and dined. So, they're coming in like this, but the problem here, I think, is that you're going to fight back in a way where you're taking up for yourself and you're not just letting something go. You know? You're not just going to let something go. But they're going to try, and health is here. Health issues could be a problem. Um, something to do with not being able to be too close to this person at this time because there's something to do with it's causing, it's affecting your health in some way. We're just needing to take a step back, perhaps. Interesting. Now, let's get some advice. Let's use these for advice. I'm going to use two different cards for advice, and then we'll get some initial close. Can I have some advice, please, for how four? Vibe check. 29. Low vibrational energies are affecting your ability to manifest your best life. Clear the negative energy that's attached to you. So, as far as just, my, you know, outside of this person experience, as far as you yourself goes, it's telling you to make sure that you're not allowing whatever's going on with this person to affect you and your vibe, right? I think my dogs are at my door. <laughs> okay, what else? I know it's, that's easier said than done, um, but they're really just trying to say is don't allow someone else to dim your light, okay? You may have, need to clear your energy as well. Early stages, number 67. You're still in the early stages of growth. So sorry, guys. Okay, one more. Oh, I didn't even read that one, did I? <laughs> Walk in the past just, just came out, though. New love is here. Okay. Early stages. You're still in the early stages of growth, but the long-term outlook is strong if you keep nurturing and engaging your talents. So that's a message that somebody here needed to hear. Then you have 58, walking the path. No matter where you are right now, you are exactly where you need to be the next best for the next best thing to happen and then you have new love right under that so for some of you then maybe that's the case okay um let's get one more last card the affirmators real quick black Out one of the other piles, I think. Um, impertinence, impertinence. Life is always changing, and I drift easily through those changes, good or bad. As I drift through hard times, I can take comfort in knowing that I will leave them behind. As I drift away from good times, I can take comfort in knowing that more will come my way. Impertinence is an equal opportunity, no, no notality. I hope I said that right. No, 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 none. I'm, I, okay, I'm just going to leave it there, guys. <laughs> I tried, didn't I? I feel like I did. I feel like I tried really hard. Um, 
<laughs> I get tired of myself sometimes. Okay, beauty. I'm beautiful even when I don't think it. I'm beautiful even when I don't see it. I'm beautiful no matter how many people don't say it. I'm beautiful and I don't even care if you know it. <laughs> I'm beautiful, which is why I don't have to try so hard all the time to show it. For some of you, this person may be criticizing you and it's effect affected your own self-worth. And maybe this person tried to throw you down a notch because they felt like you were being overconfident in yourself in order to make them feel better. You know, something like that is here. Um, yeah. That's what people here do. Like, people, when people are jealous, that's the kind of thing that they do, unfortunately. I mean, that's all in all of us. We're all capable of that. Have the dragon here so um yeah i would say that <laughs> there's definitely um a lot to say here or a lot going on or you know some things that need to be expressed maybe you've been very angry maybe you've been you've been in a disagreement here you have the the b so working together is something that's here or something being prosperous working on your own abundance even you have the cross, so you may have different responsibilities or different morals. Mom, I need to be your dad needs to talk about me. Oh, okay. So sorry, guys. So anyway, the cross, um, maybe you, you, the two of you is just kind of, you have different priorities, different um, morals, different values, you know. Um, you have a rabbit here as well, so abundance is something that's here somebody that change changes their mind quickly maybe I don't know I've never gotten that from that um Colin just came to mind um you do have c-o-l-i-n-q okay um you, know, you might feel like this person makes you feel like a clown sometimes like they clown you you know like Maybe they point the finger at you a lot or just make you feel a certain way you don't like. like you may feel like this certain take, this person takes digs at you at times. Like in, maybe in front of others. Interesting. Alright guys, I'm going to hold this up so you can see. I'm going to leave you right here. Coin is in there. Um, so thanks guys for being here. Thanks for all your love and support. I hope this helps. Good luck with this. If you don't mind hitting that like button, it really helps me out and I appreciate it. And I'm going to send y'all some love and light and I hope to see you soon.